live from the heart of New York City, it's the morning show with Mike and Juliet. Oh, love is in bloom all over Midtown Manhattan. Hope it is in your life, too. Finding someone to fall in love with is no easy task. More than half the country's women are looking for love, according to the stats, but finding Mr. Heavenly can be hell. It's frustrating, you know? I mean, I live in New York. There's tons of cute young guys around. Um, I just don't seem to meet them. 28-year-old Selena Kopak is outgoing, cute, and smart. But for whatever reason, she's very unlucky in love. I went on uh, one date with a guy who seems to be like a professional online dater. Um, he listed that as his hobby. Although by day she's a book editor, at night Selena does stand up, and that's where she meets most of the men she dates. Uh, my last relationship was with a comedian. Uh, it was about a year ago. Since then I've been out, you know, like always trying to meet people, um, but nothing, nothing really worthwhile. I've tried online dating, which didn't really um, go that well, and I've asked friends to set me up, and um, I'm not sure what it is. Selena is in the market for a down-to-earth, funny, ambitious guy, a seemingly reasonable request, but so far, she really hasn't been able to dig one up. I'm really happy I have a lot going on in my life, but I think the cherry on top would be to have a nice guy. Look who's here, Selena. Hi, Selena. Hello. We also have the author of How to Make Someone Love You in Nine so Selena, you want a you want a nice, smart, funny guy. Yeah, I don't think I'm asking that much. I love someone like playful, good sense of humor, but you know who's intelligent and ambitious. That's driven. too much to ask. <laughs> yeah, can be done. <laughs> but Doctor, They're out there. It, it sounds like she's trying to date herself. Well, you're absolutely right, and that doesn't work. Uh, you know, we, we looked at over almost 2,000 people to figure out what was going on. Mm -hmm. First of all, we found out you can fall in love and make someone fall in love in 90 minutes or less. They, were, they did some research in California. They put two strangers in a room uh, in several, several times. Yeah. Um, and in 90 minutes, they told them to do very simple things, like just exchange something with each other you might not know about each other. Uh, and then at one point, they said, look, just say something you like about the person. At the end, they said, look into each other's eyes for two minutes, and it finished. The first couple got married. The very, the very first couple got married, and they were, they were strangers. Um, you talk about matched opposites. You talk to over 2,000 couples, yeah. people who've been married for 20 years or more. And are still actively crazy about each other. And it's the whole matched opposite. It's they exactly. explain this concept. You know, we looked, we, it's, it, we looked at what are the common threads in people who have great relationships. We found, first of all, it was based on three things. We found that falling in love and staying in love are completely separate things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Secondly, we found that we don't fall yeah. in love with other people. We fall in love with the feelings we get when we're with them. And we turn those feelings, if, we, if we're smart, into stories. We tell them to ourselves, to each other, and to other people. That's called romance. Okay. And the third thing we found, that great couples are matched opposites. Just like my hands. Exactly. You explain this in the book like your hands. Explain it real quickly. Well, basically, you are like each other in very specific ways, but you have to be different in other. In other words, this hand, if I had two of these, it wouldn't do very well. Right. I've got this one, which has got the thumb on the inside, so they're they really powerful. Together. So, That's what Selena great couples shouldn't are. be going. You're an outgoing girl you shouldn't be going for the outgoing guy because you'd be competing yeah well what we found first of all you have to be like each other you have to share values and motivations you have to be going in the same direction mm -hmm. and you have to actually like each other okay real quickly we have a graph here that's yeah. explaining what you're trying to say so okay. do we need okay. to, to figure it out if we're emotional or rational? Yeah. First of all, ask yourself two questions. Are you more emotional than rational or rational than emotional? Then you end up in one half of this graph. Okay. Are you more, more socially outgoing or more socially reserved? You end up in the other half. What would you think you are, Michael? I'm emotional. Selena, yes. I bet you're emotional. And you're outgoing. And so outgoing. So you're a promoter. Yeah. You're a promoter. Yeah. I'm a yes. promoter. Yeah. I'm a promoter. So, so, and so am I. So we've we never... We can't date each other. It would never work, Nick. It would never work, It would never work, someone from a different okay. quadrant. She's a promoter, then. Yeah. We need to find her. We'll, we'll tell you what we're going to find for yeah. get her matched opposite when we come back we're after a break. Who should we go for? I, I'm guessing Hold on, we'll be right a back. supporter. Support, absolutely. Somebody who's in the Yeah, still with us, author of How to Make Someone Fall in Love with You in 90 Minutes or Less, forever, by the way, Nicholas Boothman. Selena is a single girl looking for love. And joining us now is Lori Robertson, who says she found Mr. Right using Nick's plan. Okay, so Nick, real quickly, because you sat down and you talked with Selena, we have discovered that we're all promoters. Yeah. We're um, emotional. More, we're emotional yeah. as opposed to... And socially outgoing. Yeah, mm -hmm. as yeah. opposed to... Okay. So she needs, she needs a supporter. You, you, that I happened to you, right? You found a supporter. I, I should be talking about myself. 
but my my fiance now was a guy that I was friends with for a year, and I just thought, ah, oh, you know, he's more reserved. He's not as you know, he's been real rational. And if, this is the best relationship I've ever had. Yes. Why is that? Well, if you're because you're matched opposites. Oh. And explain this concept again to us. Because because you have to be like each other in your values and motivations, and opposite in your personality and behavior. Was ah. that the way it was with you and your now? Guy. That was definitely the way it was. Um, I case. used the techniques in Nick's book to find my matched opposite. I was dating lots of men who were exactly like me. Um, I'm a controller, so I like to be in control and to feel powerful. And I was dating other men who were like me, and it never seemed to work. I started dating um, my husband. Whoa! Ah. Of three years. <laughs> and but at first, it, you thought he was like a little, you know, so exciting. In the beginning, I did not think that he was the man for me. I thought that he was too reserved, too laid back, not ambitious enough, so you, not openly affectionate. So after reading the book, there you go, I need to give this a chance, even though he seems boring. I was about to let him go. <laughs> I was about to let him go until I went back to Nick's book and checked my matched opposite checklist yes. and realized that the gentleman I was about to let go was my matched opposite. And there he is, right over there, Keith. Hi, there Keith. <laughs> for you like I said I looked at the balance book and I just said he's the guy that's gonna balance me out it's time to stop looking around stop looking for other people invest a little more time a little more energy in this relationship I'm so and several months later we were engaged it. Selena do you can you see yourself not going for the comedian the dynamic guy can you see yourself finding settling down with somebody who's a little bit more reserved yeah yeah I can definitely see that because I see what you mean I mean I think you need a compliment you don't necessarily yeah. need your ex you know to be looking at here's a your homework assignment read that book cover okay. to cover and we're going to find a guy for you, okay? okay. We're going to follow you around, Selena. Oh, yeah. you like yeah. Yeah. Nick's going to help you, okay? We're going to follow her story. Nick's going to help her out, okay? So watch for that and They're come up. They're going to be back in a couple weeks to see if Selena will be able to find love. Okay. Lori, thank you. Congratulations, Keith. Coming up, should you really feed a cold and starve a fever? We have all the myths about the flu season.